Now, we all enjoy a good scare, um, but why? And uh, what is it about scary movies or uh, roller coasters that uh, makes us put ourselves through terrible things in the quest for enjoyment? Well, Professor Luke O'Neill, Professor of Biochemistry at Trinity College in Dublin, uh, being aware that Halloween is approaching, has the answers. That's Luke, right. good uh, morning. Unusual topic for us, but it's not that unusual because I came across a study. Where did you hear the title of that? It was Horror Fans and Morbidly Curious Individuals Are More Resilient During the COVID-19 Pandemic. Isn't that strange? That is strange. Yeah, so the study done on 310 individuals and the ones who watched horror movies were coping better through the pandemic. Isn't that very strange? And, and then I began reading about it and why do we like horror movies and so on? You know, what draws us to them? Because we yeah. are drawn to them and some people love them, you know. And this study shows if you watch a horror movie, it somehow builds up resilience inside yourself and you have less anxiety and things. So there seems to be a benefit from watching these horror okay. movies. So, so what happens in our body when uh, we are scared? Yeah, the amygdala is the part of the brain, but an ancient part of the an almond-shaped part of the brain. That fires up, basically, and it Adrenaline is the big thing that happens and you feel this flight or fright response it's called famously. So you get very agitated obviously. It evolved as a way to deal with danger I guess. So when you watch a horror movie that same that same process is triggered. Okay. And then you get sweaty palms. The uh, sinking feeling in your stomach Pat by the way that's blood rushing from your stomach to your muscles so you feel this dip in your stomach. You know your heart rate goes up. It's all to prepare you for danger basically. Yeah. And again a horror movie then if you watch a nasty horror movie that mimics that effect. And then strangely that pulse of adrenaline is beneficial. Um, so, uh, when the the fright finishes, or when the roller coaster draws to a stop at the end of the thing, yeah. Do we react to that in we a do. joyful way? We do. And again, you can't beat science. But a study in Aarhus University, right, put lots of people through a horror situation, a haunted house that was actually in, in Aarhus. There's 70 actors frightening people and they measured various hormones in their bodies and how they reacted. You get the adrenaline pulse and then when it's over, you get an endorphin rush. So your body begins to relax again and you feel this kind of high, I suppose, as a result of the, uh, the initial shock. So it's very, very hormonal in a way. You know? And again, you might be drawn to that then. You want to repeat the experience. Dopamine goes up as well, but the way afterwards and dopamine motivates us to seek the same behaviour again. So we're drawn to these experiences, I guess, through these changes in our bodies.